Today we are going to understand logs in a way that we never forget. And when do we use logarithms? Say for example, we all know the compound interest, right? A equal to B1 plus R raised to T. So here the exponent is the variable, that is T. So if you want to know, if you invest 100 today, in how many years it becomes 200, you need to use log to find this. When we have log, we have something called base. Base, let's say 2, equal to 8. Now let's understand that there are three things in this. One is this, another is this, and the third one is this. Base, probably you all know that. And this one is called exponent. And here this one is argument. We have to find out what this number is. So the best way to do that, in a way that you never forget, what we do, we start our journey from here, and that's base. So base raised to, or to the power, whatever way you say, two to the power this, or raised to this, equal to, or becomes, argument. So the journey starts from here, the round trip, to raise to, and it lands on argument. So let's rewrite it in an exponent term. So 2 is base 2, and this is exponent. Where do we have exponent? Equal to, can you make the connection? 2 raised to this equals 8. 2 raised to this equals 8. 2 raised to what is 8? 2 raised to 3 equal to 8. Great. 2 raised to 3. Right? So what is the base in this? Base is, this is exponent form, now we are in log form. What is base here? Base is 10. So first you write log. When it is the log form, there will be a log word here. So log, what is base here? 10. 10 equal to 10 raised to what is 100. So now let's check that. 10 raised to t equal to 100. 10 raised to t equal to 100. So these two things are the same. So here, we don't know what t is here, but using converting this in log, you can find it because we know 10 raised to 2 is 100. So t equal to 2. Because 10 raised to 2 